as I've been making these videos with the nine areas supposedly that uh, we can use to configure windows I thought of a tenth one and so I've added the tenth one here configuration files so there are configuration files like CFG files and INF files that occur on the system that we can sometimes use in other words they're just text files that we can alter in order to alter the way that Windows works um, if I do a search here let's go to my uh, this is just an application I, I like to use to search things uh, let's search for a CFG file and you can see several uh, configuration files if I open up one of these configuration files let's just go to uh, open with uh, where is my open there's open with notepad you'll see that I have just some some text here now this one doesn't have very much maybe a better one would be an INF file INF files are files that come along with with drivers that that uh, tell the driver information about how to install it and so forth so I'm going to go and open with notepad okay that's a little bit more extensive one you notice it's very carefully laid out so that it's readable by the uh, by the machine but you can see here that we have uh, for example here's a registry entry um, and we could change that registry entry if we wanted to do that so we certainly can use just text the textual changes in these text files in order to change the behavior of our system now this is much more common in Linux systems than it is in Windows we don't do it very often in Windows but once in a blue moon you'll run across an instruction on how to change some uh, some file manually like this in order to change something